Logiforms has seamless integration with Adobe EchoSign, the most trusted name in PDF document signing. This tutorial describes how to generate a PDF document with Logiforms, and then immediately present it to the user for signing when the form is submitted. This method does, however, provide less assurance of the signer's identification than when sending via email. For sensitive agreements, we recommend using the email method instead. Let's walk through the process of getting a document signed using an embedded widget. Starting from the dashboard, open your form in the form designer. For integration with EchoSign, there has to be a PDF document being generated for the form. You can use an existing PDF form or use the dynamic PDF form designer to create your own PDF. In this example, our form already has a PDF being generated, so all we need to do is add the EchoSign text tags that identify where the signer will be expected to sign and initial the document. To add the text tags, click Post Processing, then PDF Generation. Double-click the profile to edit it. Click Next three times to advance to the document body screen. Because we want to add the tags to the document body, click the Edit Document Body button to launch the editor. We're now editing our dynamic PDF. If you were using a PDF form, you would need to add form fields to the PDF and label them using the same text tag names and re-upload your PDF. More information on that process can be found in our user guide. When the PDF is sent to EchoSign, the text tags tell EchoSign where to place signature and initial fields. Refer to our user guide for more detailed information about using text tags. In this example, we want to get the lease agreement signed by the resident and then signed by us, the sender. We also want to get each page in certain fields initialed by the signer. Let's scroll down and start adding our text tags. At the first page break, insert the tag to get the page initialed. Repeat this process for each page break. Since the document calls for these fields to be initialed, we'll add text tags by each. At the bottom of the document, we'll insert the text tag to get the signer's signature, as well as the date signed by the resident. We'll also add the sender signature text tag along with the date for that field as well. Click Save to save the PDF and Finish to close out the wizard. Now that we've added the necessary text tags to our PDF document, let's set up the electronic signature profile. In the form designer, click Post Processing and choose Electronic Signatures. Select Add Profile to create the new profile. In the wizard, give the profile a name. The Manually Triggered Only option works in conjunction with the trigger to only use this profile when triggered directly. This can be used to send a document for signature via respondent update mode or via a custom workflow process. We'll leave this unchecked for this example. Next, select the sender for this electronic signature. Click Next and select Embedded Widget Mode as we will not be using the email option. On the next screen, select the PDF we want to get signed and enter a name for the agreement that will be shown to the signer. You can also set up a document expiration time. Click Next to advance to the Embedded Document Signing Page settings. If your form is integrated into your website using the Embedded Integration method, you may need to use the Break Out of Frame option to break out of the frame when displaying the document for signing. To edit the heading of the page that will contain the signing widget, click Edit Signing Page Header. In this example, we're just going to add our example company logo. Note that you must leave the text shown inside brackets, as this is where the signing area will be shown. The Post Signing Success Message option allows you to define a custom message to display after the PDF is signed. We'll leave the default for this example. Next, click the wildcard icon to select the field on your form that contains the signer's email address. On the next page, choose if you, the sender, should sign the document after the user is signed. By selecting Sender Signs Last, We'll have to sign the document after the resident has signed first. You can also elect to protect the document using a simple password, a web identity check, or via a KBA authentication. For more information on these options, please consult our user guide. When you're done, click Finish to complete the setup. Now let's open up our form and submit it. After submitting the form, the signing widget is displayed with our generated PDF document ready to be signed. The user is guided through the process of initialing and signing the document. 
After they create the first initial, they can quickly move through initialing each page and field. For their signature, they can either draw their signature with their mouse or type their name. Now that the signing process is complete, we'll receive the signed document via email and can complete the signing process by adding our signature. First, however, let's take a look at what we can see in the LogiForms database. Returning to LogiForms, click the database link in the form designer. Notice that a number of fields have been added to the data that describe the signing process. As you can see, this document is out for signature and the last event was document e signed by the user. Click the PDF link to view the current PDF document and you can scroll down to see the initials and signature. The document is certified by Adobe as indicated by the blue border and security certificate. Now closing the PDF, we can log into our email account where we'll find the document ready for our signature as the sender. In our inbox, we now have an email from Adobe EchoSign asking us to sign the completed lease agreement. Click the link to sign the document. The signing process is now complete. Each party will receive, via email, the final executed lease agreement. Returning to LogiForms and pressing Refresh in the database browser, we'll now see the updated status of the document. By double-clicking on the record and scrolling down to the electronic signature fields, we can also view a complete audit log by clicking the Audit Log link. This concludes our overview of how to get a document electronically signed using the Embedded Signing Widget.